Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Prism Plus X315 Pro. The Prism Plus X315 Pro Gaming Monitor is basically an upgrade for gamers if you have been using usual normal screens, and let's get into the why. As the name suggests, the X315 display is a 31.5 inch display with a thin bezel design. It's actually thinner than my current 34 inch monitor, so with thinner bezels, movies and games look a lot better. The design is now an all black colorway which I absolutely love and it is paired with a blue backlight illumination which would shine against the wall and don't worry, it is not obtrusive at all. To me, it fits very well into a gamer's room aesthetics. They've even included this little attachment which attaches to the bottom of the screen and it displays the Prism Plus logo which is quite cute. Maybe next time they can offer different cutouts for the light and you can get your gamer tag or name to shine through. The stand is very basic, just a black metal piece which can only adjust tilt slightly but it is sturdy. If you want it to be higher up, you will have to get a stand for the monitor or you can wall mount this. It has VESA mounting and they also provide the screws for this in the box. They do sell monitor arms such as their Arc series which you can check out on their website which I'll definitely drop a link in the description box below. Now for connectivity options, there is a DP port, HDMI 2.0 port and two HDMI 1.4 ports with a headphone port. You're literally spoiled for options. Now, for the X315 Pro gaming display, this has razor sharp visual clarity because for one, they're using A plus grade Samsung panels, which basically means that these are the best of the best panels that have passed all the industrial testing needed. The X315 Pro has a QHD display, so 2560 by 1440, and a refresh rate of 144Hz, so especially when you're playing FPS games, you can be sure you won't experience any ghosting or tearing of the graphics when you need to get a frag. If somehow that isn't enough, this has FreeSync built in and at the same time it's also G-Sync compatible. So if you're running a AMD or Nvidia graphics card, you definitely have your own choices to pick. Something really interesting I found with the X315 Pro is the fact that they're using a 1500R curvature rather than a 1800R curvature. The larger the number, the flatter it is, while the smaller the number means that there is more curve. I actually wasn't sure how I would like it, but I was pleasantly surprised as to how immersive it was. I was slightly worried I'd get motion sickness or dizziness because it is so curved, but I really didn't feel any of those symptoms. It just feels like I'm inside the game. My theory is that because it is taller as a widescreen when compared to a ultra wide, you get a bit more information on the top and the bottom when gaming. Granted, I sat pretty close to the screen, so that could also be the reason, but if you want to sit a bit further back, it still looks good, and you can always add on a second x 3 5 to get even more immersiveness. The only con about this is that with this 1500R curvature, it does make the chassis a bit thicker than other 1800R screens, but only by about an inch, and to be honest, it doesn't affect much unless you have a table that is really really small, which in that case, you should get a bigger table. Don't skimp on the monitor. Another reason that movies and games look awesome on the X315 Pro is that this has 125% sRGB, which translates to a wide color gamut that displays colors vibrantly along with the fact that this has a 3000 to 1 contrast ratio and HDR10. Legit, I was watching Netflix shows and playing some games on this and I am duly impressed. No complaints whatsoever about the quality. Before we end this, let's move on to the controls which are located on the bottom right of the screen. Using the controls, you can access the OSD from here. So first one, you have your input source, DP, HDMI 2.0, 1.4, 1.4. Go down, you can change your brightness or contrast, color settings. So you have gamma, picture mode, color temperature, low blue light, hue, and saturation. So you can just adjust this to what you yourself prefer. Picture quality setting, you can change the sharpness, response time, noise reduction, super resolution, dynamic luminous control, and for the display, aspect ratio, you can choose whether you're on widescreen, stuff like that, the LED mode, and the projection lamp. Audio, you can adjust the audio because as I showed you, there is a headphone port underneath here, so you can change the audio from here if you want to. For multi-window, if you t go in and you turn it on, you can go through either your PIP mode or even 
PVP to Windows. So PIP mode basically means that there'll be another screen on the inside so you can connect say a PS4 and you can look at your computer screen while playing a PS4 game and PVP basically means it will just split the monitor screen in half so you can have one window here and another on the other side. This is the OSD options and from here you can change the language and also where you want it to be and how long it'll take for a timeout and the rotation, things like that. Lastly, in the other menu is where you access this to turn on free sync and also reset all the options back to normal. Overall, I like the fact that they took an already amazing product that they had previously the first gen X315 and upgraded to this amazing thing. IMO, the black looks gorgeous and just gives this really slick feeling when you look at it. The pricing of this unit is currently at 499 SGD which is reasonably priced for what you're getting. QHD display, 144Hz, 125% sRGB and a ton of options. I'll obviously drop the link to this below so you can go pick one up if you want to. That is it for the video, remember like and subscribe for more tech and gaming videos, hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come up and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!